Your Plus Optics S12 testing kit should include the following. Carrying case with shoulder strap, the Plus Optics S12 device, a neck strap, an SD card, a power cord and power adapter, and six rechargeable batteries. You should also familiarize yourself with the Plus Optics S12 hardware. 12 volt power input, SD card slot, USB card slot, on off button, touch screen, shutter, and on the back of the unit, the battery compartment with six rechargeable standard AA batteries. Make sure your batteries are fully charged. It's best to fully charge them 24 hours before testing. If the batteries are completely dead, they will need to be replaced or charged using a battery charger. To screen a child, begin by pressing the power button. If the SD card is not placed into the device already, then insert the SD card upside down into the device. Before screening a child, you first need to either find the child's information on the device or enter it if the child is not in the database. If you would like to preload data into the device, please watch the video called Importing Data. To find a child's information, press Enter Data. Then select first name and enter the name of the child. As you type, the device will attempt to match existing names in the database. Once the name of the child you are screening appears with the correct date of birth, then select that entry. The child's name will appear in the screen's upper left corner. You can now begin the screening by pressing the orange shutter button. If a child's name is not in the database, we will have to enter it. First, select Enter Data. Enter the child's date of birth. Then enter the first name followed by the last. Press the green check mark to save the child's information into the device, or you can simply press the orange shutter button to begin the screening. Before screening, dim the light in the room and position yourself approximately four feet from the child. Hold the device at the child's eye level and press the orange shutter button. The warble sound attracts the child's attention to the device. Align the device so you can see both of the child's eyes on the screen. Move slowly toward the child until green circles appear around their pupils. A green line will appear between the pupils when the correct distance is achieved. The measurement begins automatically. A ping sound indicates a successful screening. The screening result will appear at the bottom of the screen and is automatically saved to the SD card. Next, complete the screening information sheet, making sure you mark the electronic screening results at the bottom of the form with either a pass or refer. Remember to complete the recommendation at the bottom of the form. Passed, rescreen needed, or take child to eye doctor. Note that during a screening, you may receive an error message. If the error message reads, too much infrared ambience light, you will need to dim the lights in the room or shade the windows. If the error message reads, camera did not detect pupils, make sure hair and eyelashes are not blocking eyes. You may also need to place a pair of non-polarized flat sunglasses over the child's eyes. This will help make the pupils bigger and make them easier for the device to read. Thank you once again for your interest and participation in the vision screening project.